Hey guys, welcome to today's video, Epic Foundation Guide. If you are a drugstore fan or if you want full luxe, full coverage, you want a juicy tinted moisturizer, you want something in between. You have oily skin, you have dry skin, I have something here. Top shelf A plus for every skin type, every coverage type and every type of finish, I have done the dig so that you don't have to. So let's hop in. We're just gonna get this out of the way. I am still in a full-blown color stay by Revlon Rut. Today, I did mix it with a few other items, which I will get to, but I do wanna say for $15.99, this is phenomenal. It reminds me an awful lot of the YSL, which we're going to get to. I recently talked about this in another video, but also Estee Lauder Double Wear. I think this is even better. Literally after I did my breakdown of luxury versus drugstore video, which I will link in the description box, I tried to favor the more expensive bottle because I spent $60 on this, but I just like Revlon Colorstay so much better. It wears better. It is more breathable. It just has a better finish. I don't even know what to tell you. They both have SPF in them. The YSL one does have, wow, it has a heavy fragrance. I can smell it just, yeah, I can smell it without even pumping it. It's just like radiating off of the bottle itself. This is a beautiful foundation. However, you don't have to spend $60. Go and get yourself some Revlon Color Stay. I don't know why this is so good. It just is. I am wearing it again today. I'm having a, we're, we're, uh, we're having a thing. I personally go for the combo oily skin formula, but they do have one for drier skin. Just to let you know, the formulation for drier skin is a little too slick on my skin. It's humid here in Texas. I'm on the move all the time. And I just have found that I need something that locks in a little bit tighter, even though my skin type right now is absolute right down the middle combo and a little finicky depending on the time of the month. Yay. <laughs> so amazing to be a woman sometimes. I'm gonna start cyclically, cyclically, what a word. I'm reading about the feminine cycles and how you should work out according to your cycle. And I'm kind of feeling like we need to be foundationing and skin caring according to our cycle. It's like we're a full year and a month. That's how I feel. We've got like all the seasons in 30 days and the week before the period, I am definitely so much more oily than right after. So justification to have all of this. If you're someone who experiences her monthly visitor, ugh. oh, I always hated it when people called it that. Or Aunt Flo, gosh, traumatizing. What we go through as women, sometimes, let's focus. Okay, I could not resist today. I put this on just where I wanted a little more coverage because I got curious if it would lay on top of the Revlon Color Stay and give me just like a punch of pore reduction and extra coverage. That's kind of how my brain works. And it looks great. And I'm gonna be doing this again. This is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. This lasts up to 24 hours, mattifying, water and sweat proof with niacinamide. This is a beautiful formulation for 10 bucks. It's made in Italy. I love the dropper. This is definitely for more oily skin or someone that's combo that gets more oily in the summertime. Beautiful, beautiful foundation. Comes in 24 shades. Then we have this guy from Catrice as well, also $10. These are both great formulas. This one would be more for someone that has drier skin. It's a matte, natural finish. It's almost a satin finish in my opinion, but it really locks in tight. It definitely smooths out lines and seems to fill your pores a little bit and wears beautifully. Long wearing, again, very humidity resistant, sweat proof, transfer resistant. One of the best drugstore foundations. You cannot get better for 10 bucks. I want to mention this has watermelon seed and hyaluronic acid. So it is more juicy, cushy, then the niacinamide full-blown matte of this one right here. All right, I have tried to love this and I still am on the fence. I still keep reaching for it because I love that it's fragrance-free. It's 20 bucks. I believe they have like 50 shades at Sephora. This is the Sephora Best Skin Ever. It's really nice. It does not wear as well as the Revlon. By the end of the day, I do look a little bit greasy. That is my gripe with this. It might just be me and my finicky skin because a lot of you guys, when you saw the video where I dueled it out between Ulta and Sephora brand, you guys were like, this is an amazing product. 
please try it again with a different primer or just try it again. And I have a couple of times and I don't not like it. I just don't love it as much as say Catrice or Revlon. And that's my like reservation with everything that I try. But this is a fabulous product. You have brown algae and red algae. It's said to be helpful for anti-pollution. There are a lot of claims on this one. Comes in a pump, glass bottle. It is fragrance-free as well. So great for those of us out there that just don't want fragrance in your foundation. Um, moving from there, this is one more for my oily gals out there. This is a phenomenal thin texture, full coverage, but more mattifying product. We're gonna talk about the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. Comes in a glass bottle, a pump. This is long wearing, really thin texture, blends beautifully, seamlessly, and is totally sweat proof. I actually did a TikTok where I did a workout, tried to sweat as much as I could. Like I literally did Carolyn Gervin's beast mode and I'm like, we're gonna get in there. We're gonna test this foundation. Immediately afterward, I looked in the mirror and my body was covered in sweat, but my face somehow was still mattified and I was so perplexed by it, like nothing moved. And I worked out hard and nothing moved. This is a great long wear formula. If you want long wear that's medium to full, that just will not break apart, is very budge proof, transfer resistant. I actually took my white shirt and I was going like this afterward and nothing came off. And then I was like, well, that's interesting. And then I like wiped it and that, you know, then, then it did. Um, but I have just been really impressed with this. You guys know I love their concealer so much. You can tell I get like really excited about particular products. And this is a new one that I'm like, oh my gosh, why did I not try this sooner? You are so good. <sighs> not for dry skin though. Do not do this if you have dry skin. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have another new one that I'm obsessing over. Like the obsession. We gotta fluff the hair and get ready for her, okay? I believe I need a different shade because I didn't like that it looked a little muddy on me because the shade was just not quite right, a little too dark but I like this formula and everything about it so much that I'm gonna go in for a second serving and I bought this with my own money. This is from Laura Mercier. I put this in my most recent overhyped makeup try on. I'll link that below. The Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. This is so good. It is like a second skin. It is beautiful. It makes your face look flawless poreless. Let's tone down the excitement and start with the fact that it's a glass jar. We've got a pump. We love that. Mess free. This is the real flawless weightless perfecting foundation and it is all of that. Very weightless. It feels like you are putting water on your skin but it somehow is covering everything up while still looking like realistic skin. It wears really well. It is a little bit on the moisturizing side. If you have very oily skin, you will not like this. If you have combo skin and you powder and prime well, you will love this. If you're looking for something long wear, lightweight that is also blurring. This has bamboo blurring powders in here that are gonna soften those fine lines. Like I find that there is a real nice softening in here. It's $48 for an ounce, great shade range, natural finish, medium coverage, no fragrance. This also has Camilla extract, which is also in this very expensive number from Chanel for 75 bucks. Let's just get her out of the way. Chanel, $75. This is not it. This is one that if you have the money and you want to splurge, sure, go for it. Do I think you can get better for your money? Absolutely. This is one ounce. So don't let it fool you. You're like, oh gosh, and you're not getting as much. Everything I have talked about so far is about an ounce of product and that's pretty standard for foundation. Now this right here, the reason I'm not into it is because it doesn't give you enough coverage and the dry down is nice, but it's just not doing enough. And I don't feel like your skin is improving so much or it's doing anything so well that it's worth the $75 price. This is more of a serum. If you want that, go for it. I wasn't impressed. Okay, this one, $140. La Mer, what even are you? Longwear foundation, we have SPF in here of 20. The website just literally is like longwear, medium coverage, kind of like they know their foundation is so good that they don't even need to sweet talk you. It's just like, buy it, 
If you want to, just do it. If you don't, we don't want you and we don't need you. And that is kind of like the attitude I would say of La Mer when you're reading through it, because a lot of these other foundations have what I equate to like a romance novel description. I've always said that where I'm like, oh my gosh, like this foundation's trying to go on a date with me. Like, this is so weird. It's like sexy and soft, blurring, stays with you without changing for 24 hours. Um, oh. Anyway, it, you know, La Mer's just take it or leave it. And that's kind of where I'm at with them. I don't know that I will repurchase this in the future. <laughs> I've said that before. It's a great foundation. It's a natural finish. It's long wear. It's medium coverage. It's buildable. It's a hybrid of pretty much everything I have shown you so far. There we have it. $52. It's Givenchy. There are 30 shades. Glass bottle. Comes in a pump. Alcohol free. Silicone free. Fragrance free. There's so much about this formula that I love. This is my favorite to use on top of cream contour and highlight. If I'm going to be doing any underpainting and I want something that's a nice satiny finish that feels really great on the skin where you can really just work a little bit of product a long way where you don't want to feel that heaviness. This is a beautiful formula. I don't hear it talked about a lot and I've been so impressed with this. It's a light coverage, so you're not gonna get a full coverage out of this. Just know that going in. It's a radiant finish. It reminds me a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. It has that kind of a sensation, if you will, but it's in a pump. This is considered a skincare foundation hybrid according to Givenchy. I would agree with it. It feels very nourishing and I love how it's formulated. I like everything about it. They do have a matte version and I am curious. I like this one so much that I'm like, well, maybe for summer I would really like that matte variety and I'll probably check it out soon and let you guys know. I also want to say that I love the Forever Skin Glow from Dior. I do feel like if I had to pick between the two of these, the texture is very similar. This has more coverage. If I had to pick between the two, I would pick the Givenchy. The Dior is also said to be a skincare hybrid with 55% of the ingredients being skincare. This is a medium coverage radiant finish. This does get a little greasy on me, which is disappointing. It is a long wear formula, but not as long wear as some of the things I showed you in the front of this video. So if you are looking for like intense long wear, I wouldn't do this. If you're looking for something medium coverage and you like Dior and you like the skincare element to it, go for it, great. The SPF I think is only 15. That kind of bums me out when companies do that. I feel like either crank it up or take it out altogether because I'm picky about my SPF. So I want to select my own SPF and not have it mixed into foundation. Personally, that's always been my thing. And then also it gives you the option. If you like your foundation, you want to reapply your makeup, you're going to an event at night where you don't need SPF, you're going to have flashback and you need to think of that. So I don't love that they put like a runny 15. Like it's like a do nothing 15. Give me 30, give me something meaningful or like take it out. If you're so uninterested in spending your money on foundation, but you want all the things that I'm talking about, you're like, I want quality. I want it to wear. I want that second skin effect. L'Oreal has got you. I have two right here in my hands. Of course, we have the iconic infallible 24 hour fresh wear. This is heavily scented. That is my gripe with this one, but everything else about it, I love and have loved for years. I literally just bought a brand new bottle. I could not help myself. I think in my head, like all this foundation that I have, all the expensive stuff that I have, you think that I would be like, oh yeah, I have Givenchy and a little La Mer. Like, what do I need this for? But I stand there at the drugstore and I'm like, I just I don't know why, but I just need it because it makes my skin look better than like everything. And this is just one of those when I'm having tricky skin and my skin is like combo to the max. It is oily, dehydrated, dry, and just kind of maybe breaking out. If it's just like all over the place, this is the save the day foundation for me. It's a natural finish, very long wear, plays well with others, always blends into whatever concealer I have on, any cream products that I use. It's just solid. Then we have this gem of a foundation right here, the new formulated True Match, which now comes in a pump. 
I could never use that little twist off bottle and you're spilling it everywhere and you're just like, oh my gosh, please, L'Oreal, hear us. And I feel like collectively we're like, we need a pump, L'Oreal, please. And like someone was like, wait, like they were in a business meeting and they're like, oh my gosh, I think, I think, I think I know what the people want. They want to pump. And I just feel so heard and understood. This is a fabulous formula, great shade range. It's so thin in texture. I would say it's like the flawless uh, perfecting from Laura Mercier dupe. This is the closest that you're gonna find to that high end luxury feel. It is not in my opinion, as coveragey as the infallible for whatever reason. But man, this is good. Like this is another formula that plays well with others. So if you're into cream blushes and bronzers and all the creams right now, sometimes they can collide and pill. This is so blendy that even if you made a mistake with your makeup, like you put on too much cream blush, which I do all the time, you can actually take your beauty blender or brush that you used and like kind of go over it. And it just like, fixes itself. It's such a good formula. Find it at your drugstore, check it out, really top notch. 47 bucks for an ounce, honorable mention. This is empty and I'm on the fence to buy another one. This is the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation from Shiseido. I've used this for years, but I'm more into everything else right here at the moment. I did want to mention, if you're someone that has some crepiness or you have lines that just will not not show up throughout the day and you want a foundation that you can kind of quickly blend and pat and do all of that with, the technology in here is literally trademarked. It's called Active Force and it's gonna help the skin to snap back into place. You can blend it out. It is very crease proof as far as the foundation goes, which is one of the reasons I super love it. It does have an SPF of 30 and it's oil-free. This is definitely not for dry skin, but I have loved this one for a long time. And it was kind of like lurking in the drawer, kind of like, hey, I'm empty, buy me again. Sometimes if I really love a product and it's empty, I'll just like stick it back in the drawer as like a reminder, go get more. Do I need more? I could wear foundation like all over my body every day for a year and I would still have lots. I still have more behind me. Do you want to see? Hey, also, I'm back modeling Abercrombie. This is also from my order. Okay. I have a problem, you guys. I just, I like foundation too much. Patrick Ta, yeah, uh, this one actually surprisingly, not my favorite. Love his line, love his products, not my favorite. <gasps> I can't forget to mention this one, the Ambient by Hourglass. Love it still, but I feel like I've talked about it a lot. Stick foundation, one of the best Hourglass, Huda Beauty. Um, I love this so much, even though it makes me break out if I wear it too often, it clogs my pores and that freaks me out, but I keep it on hand because it's just that good. And then we have the Glowish, which this is the wrong shade for me, but it is a fabulous, fabulous, juicy sink in the skin, juice up the skin, glowy summertime foundation, really great. Oh my gosh, I can't get rid of these. You guys, I, I literally panicked. I panicked when I heard that they discontinued this. I did see on TikTok though, because now I'm a professional TikToker. If you didn't know, go follow me. Uh, if you're like, God, this woman talks so much. Oh my gosh. And you're like, you know what would be great? Shh. <laughs> you can get that over on TikTok. Anyway, there's two things I wanna order from TikTok. The Westmore body thing with that like giant brush that is like the size of your head. And I'm like, oh, it's kind of also like my last name. Like, oh wow. Um, that's like my inner monologue. That's literally how I think about things. And then I saw Luminous. It's a spray on foundation. And I was like, oh, that looks like my, my beloved Dior Air Flash. I need to look into this. So stay tuned for foundation reviews. I'll post them over there. Okay, so let's get back into it. This is the RMS Beauty Re-Evolve Natural Finish Foundation. I still have this on the top shelf vanity area. I'm wearing it again today. The RMS Beauty Re-Evolve Radiance Locking Primer. So good. That's like a solid secret gripping skincare beautifying, firming, gorgeous, gorgeous primer that not a lot of people are talking about. So there you go. Um, this foundation is phenomenal. Long wear, it firms, it hydrates. So this is definitely for 
more dry skin, great for more mature skin that wants that plushiness, that skincare, and you want something that also is hydrating, firming, that's giving you good coverage. You can purchase the refills for 44 bucks, or you can get the full meal deal for 52. I love this. I feel like I don't even need moisturizer when I use this accompanied with this. I can just really quickly pop it on. It doesn't clog pores. It's great. If you don't wanna spend $52, I don't blame you. Get some Wet n Wild. This is so good. I have been back in this so much that I got another bottle to mix in with this front runner right here, medium tan, and then I did get medium deep, which this is too dark for me. I do have to mix them together. These do oxidize quite a bit. I do wanna let you guys know. I had a day in the studio where I wanted to see what was oxidizing, what matched me still, what was working, what was the finish. Like I dove deep into the research and I swatched my whole face and one of the few products that really changed color was this guy right here. So I do wanna let you guys know it does oxidize. Keep that in mind. It will deepen up a little bit in color, but I love this so much. I was texting Erica about this. We were like sending texts back and forth. I was sending her a video of how to apply it. Haven't done that in a hot minute. Like when I'm giving my own sister the recommendation and green light on a product, it's good. It's so good. Um, if you want more full coverage, you don't want just that juiced up tinted moisturizer plus, then I would go with the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. It is full coverage, but it does have a nice natural finish. I like the squeezy tube pump situation that it comes in. I feel like it's really great for travel. One that I didn't like that is in kind of a similar tube is the Maracuja Juicy situation from Tarte. Love those lippies. You guys know I am a diehard primer fan of Tarte's. I talk about this every chance I get. This I purchased, I was really excited about it because I was kind of mesmerized by everything Tarte because online I feel like you see so much Tarte tried on and I wanted to be in it and it just was a little waxy, like that waxy putty. Like if you touch your face, it kind of like leaves like a fingerprint. If you bump your foundation, it's like moving everywhere. That was my issue with this. I said what I said. All right, you want a fabulous foundation, really great ingredients. You love indie brands. This is it right here from Jasmine Beauty. Life's a Beach Skin Tint. Now this has SPF 31. I love that. We're up there in the coverage. We have seawater infused green tea extract and hyaluronic acid. This is very juicy, but gives you great coverage. I did a reel over on IG where I applied this and since that reel, I have worn it a lot because it's just so easy to blend. It sinks into the skin beautifully. Doesn't look heavy, but does provide a significant amount of coverage. Is kind of the elevated version of the Wet n Wild. I just really love it. So I wanted to mention it's cruelty-free, gluten-free, and vegan. And you're supporting an indie brand that does it really, really well. Okay, oh my gosh. That was a lot of foundation, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I ramble on about all of my favorite foundation and give you guys some tips on what works for what. Make sure when you're researching foundation that you think in your mind, what am I looking for? What kind of skin type do I have? I get so many messages from you guys and you're like, what should I do? I want something to look really natural. And I'm like, well, think about a natural finish. Think about avoiding full coverage. Think about avoiding things like matte. Do some research and make sure ahead of time that you're looking for products that will meet your needs. Some people want a very thin texture. Some people want something super long wearing. Some people don't even care. They just want skincare plus a little bit of coverage. So. Uh, we live in a world where there is a foundation for every skin type and desire, and I hope you enjoyed my breakdown. Let me know you did by thumbsing this video up. Leave me those comments. And other than that, you guys, go and have a good one. Follow me on TikTok, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.